Hey Leo, uh, this is Soul, and Leo, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of March 20th through the 27th, 2017. The messages will also be for Leo Moon and Leo Rising. All right, so let's just jump right into your messages, uh, Leo. For some Leos, I'm picking up the energy uh, related to the Five of Cups in the uh, reverse position. So because it's in the reverse, and it's your overall energy for the upcoming week, something happened here in the past um, a week or so ago that created some sort of emotional disappointment or let down now the cups represent love and emotion so it could have been a relationship uh, this is a general reading so please apply these messages to whatever is close personal or significant for you um, overcoming is the theme of the week in terms of overcoming some sort of emotional letdown or disappointment attached to a person or a excuse me yeah a person or an event something happened now the cups do represent children for me so that energy could be related directly to children also the cups represent water signs so cancer scorpio or pisces male or female could be directly or indirectly involved with some sort of disappointment um that some leos had to deal with all right but again it could be with any zodiac sign so the next card of uh up that's um for you leo is the king of machete so this is all about you not allowing those things that you know upset you or disappoint excuse me upset you or disappointed you in the past and there's a lot of determinations here with this uh king of machete showing up in the uh, upright position um the king could also represent female energy also too it could be that the king is sitting next to the five of cups when it comes to um someone being disappointed uh directly related to air signs gemini libra aquarius male or female with that being said in the upright position is all about a lot of determination it's a lot of decision making and just being determined to move forward either from a, a negative situation from the past and using that sword to cut away that energy and not allowing it to affect you this upcoming week but i do feel it's all about some leos uh who don't normally for me come across as being overtly emotional i'm not you know applying that to all leos but i'm just saying i don't leos normally aren't that emotional at least they don't show it and so the moon card showing up in the reverse is dealing with those emotions it's like a this is a phase card so it's one phase that's ending it could also relate to overcoming some sort of uh again depression related to a disappointment with the five of cups water sign i always see pisces with the moon so that could be again with those water sign energies it could be with any zodiac sign in its energy but in the reverse this is what the moon represents for me it could be that there were some sort of secrets that were revealed that you you know um discovered about someone else that may have been part of the five of uh, cups energy okay it's not just for relationships this could be a friendship this could be something going on in, you know in the family structure maybe there was something in the family that you didn't know about you know a situation or a person or a family member okay overcoming a phase ending of one phase and the new phase opens up in the reverse all right secrets being revealed this is called a personal reputation as well so it may have been that there was someone in a reading for that there uh, whatever the situation was that created some sort of possible emotional disappointment or um let down had to do with uh someone's reputation all right but whatever it is I just feel that it's overcoming some sort of uh, past emotional issues. Friday going into the weekend is the temperance card, which is in the upright major arcana, major life events. So there's that restoration of balance being restored from any past events that created uh, emotional whirlwinds or bullshit for you. Okay, Leo, this is a card of creativity. So there could be some Leos who are very creative. It doesn't necessarily have to be inclusive to uh the arts it could be anything that you're creative with but this is the week for you to uh either explore 
or put that energy out there when it comes to your creativity. All right. Also to the the moon is sort of like, you know, the major arcana, but it's in the middle of the week. So that is I'm getting an impact here. Uh, if I didn't say it before, someone's overcoming depression or some sort of uh, melancholy associated with a disappointment. This is attached to an event or another person for sure. But I like the fact that it's showing up in the reverse because it's like that one phase ending and then another phase opens up and then we have the temperance card that comes right next after the moon card that says, Whatever happened in the past, and this is a card of a past, of the past too, as well. So this is where I'm getting past events, um, or some sort of reflection. Uh, maybe there's some Leos that uh, I'm reading for who didn't have to deal with any disappointments directly related to a situation or another person, but it could have been that Leo was reflecting uh, back in their past about something. Now, that could be good or bad. It doesn't necessarily have to be negative, but it's an ending of some sort of reflection from something in your past. All right. But whatever happens, the, the balance gets restored. Friday going into the weekend. All right. So this is what I have for you, Leo. I hope it's helpful and beneficial uh, for you. Please, again, take out what you can. Leave the rest alone. I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Until I talk to you again, Leo, be well. Bye.